We are all sick of being stuck inside, sick of social distancing. It's very tough to sustain. But experts say that is what's keeping us from getting sick. So we stay home, leaving our favorite haunts virtual ghost towns. Well, I think everybody wants life to go back to normal. We want to go do the things we used to do. Jim Sigmund and Patty Paris understand the importance, but say it's still hard in practice. They're not alone in this quarantine fatigue. Researchers at the University of Maryland used anonymous cell phone data to track movement, and they say last week they noticed a 3% decline in social distancing efforts nationwide. In Washington, we're 17th among states for social distancing, with 29% of people staying home and an average of three trips per person. 20% were out-of-county trips, miles traveled, 27.1. King County was a little higher, with 37% of people staying home. Pierce County was 27, Snohomish was 29. Yeah, getting pretty sick of it. I uh, always had to make sure I sanitize everything. Jonathan Roy has noticed the changes in his friends, who are not staying apart anymore. They're strictly for it for weeks, and after that, then they, like, actually, we're going to go ahead and hang out. A troubling trend in the fight to keep coronavirus under control. But if you don't know anybody that's actually been really sick or hospitalized too, I think you start to feel a little safer just naturally. As we all try to stay healthy while getting sick of social distancing. I do understand how important it has been to do this. Otherwise, we, we just wouldn't have a health care system. It would collapse. Michael Crow, King 5 News.